Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now the question is rate of plant growth. So at what rate or at what speed a plant grows? How fast or how slow a plant grows? How can we measure that? That whether the plant is growing slow or the plant is growing fast or how is it? So let us discuss about the rate of plant growth. It is the increase in size per unit time. Now why are we discussing this is I told you before that growth is something which is measurable. So now we are actually trying to see how well can we measure growth. And in order to measure it well we need to know the speed of growth, how fast it is growing. Now different plants have different rate of growth. Some plants grow really fast whereas some other plants take a lot of time to grow. So that is why you would have observed that if you bring different plants to your house, right? Some of the plants, they will grow very fast. Like you plant it today and after three days, you can actually see some growth. You can actually see a noticeable increase in size. But there are some other plants where even if you plant it or if you put the seeds today, it will actually take a lot of time to grow. So it depends from one plant to another, how, what would be their rate of growth or how fast will they grow. Now growth rate can be of two categories. They are categorized into two types. One is arithmetic growth rate and the other one is geometric growth rate. So these are the two types of growth rate actually. So some plant parts show arithmetic growth rate whereas some other plant parts show geometric growth rate. The geometric growth rate is more common which is seen in most of the uh, aspects of a plant growth. So however we will discuss about both the types of growth. Arithmetic growth first and then we will take up geometric growth. Now the name is quite interesting at least for me, arithmetic growth rate. Now when we are talking about the growth rate of a plant, why do we have a term like this, arithmetic? Why? Now with the, these two terms, arithmetic and geometry, geometry, can you, are you able to recall something which you have studied in your mathematics in your junior classes? You would have talked about uh, arithmetic progression and geometric progression, right? So that, that is something which is which comes under your mathematics. You remember the series, some there are some series which are in AP, that is arithmetic progression. There are some series which are in GP, that is geometric progression. So that is where from, then these names have been taken from. Now why they have been named after AP and GP, that we will be able to understand very soon. So let us see what happens in arithmetic growth rate. So in this kind of growth rate, only one daughter cell divides, others mature. So the catch here is only one daughter cell divides. So let us suppose you have a parent cell, it divides into two daughter cells. Now those two daughter cells will not divide, only one of them will divide further, right? So this is how it will happen. Let us suppose this is where the division starts. Let us take for example, okay. Now both of these cells are daughter cells. They are formed from some other cell. Now both of them will not divide at a time. Now suppose this one, this cell divided. So it formed two cells. This is one daughter cell. This is another daughter cell. Clear? Now please do not consider this cell right now. This is not dividing currently. So this particular cell divided, it formed two daughter cells. Clear? Now both of them will not divide further. The one which is orange in color will divide further while the one which is yellow in color will start to differentiate. That is it will start to become mature. So right now it is in the metastomatic phase. When a cell divides it is in the metastomatic phase but after get being divided the new cells which are formed they need to get matured right. So that process is called differentiation. So now this cell will get matured while this cell will divide further. So in the next step what will happen? Now this cell is at, as it is. This daughter cell is as it is. It has not divided. So this cell is differentiating. But this one will divide further into two daughter cells. So this divided further into 
two daughter cells. This is one, this is another. Again, in this case, one daughter cell will divide and the other one will keep on differentiating. So if you see here, this daughter cell is this one, this one is this one, and this one will divide further to form two daughter cells. Right? So you understand the process. So if you see at, at one time, it is only one daughter cell which will divide, not both the daughter cells. So if you look at this process, what is happening? Initially, how many cells did you have? Initially, you had two cells. Correct? Total number of cells is two. In the next step, you had three cells. In the next step, you had four cells. In the next step, you had five cells. So now if you allow this process to continue further, so in the next step, you will have six cells. So if you see, there is increase in one cell at each step. So that is how the growth is taking place. So it is increasing only one per step, right? Now, if you remember your mathematics, what was arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression was any such series where the difference between the consecutive numbers were equal. For example, a series like this one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So here two minus one is one, three minus two is one, four minus three is one. So the difference is same. So this is, this is an arithmetic series. Similarly, if you take an example of 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. So this is again an arithmetic series because the difference is 5 minus 3 which is 2. Again 7 minus 5 which is 2. Again 9 minus 7 which is 2. So this is also an arithmetic series. So wherever any series where the growth happens arithmetically. That is known as arithmetic growth rate. So it got its name from these kind of series because here also the growth happens linearly. So one cell gets added. In this example, at least you can see that one cell gets added at a time. So with time now, as the steps are happening, time is also increasing. So with increase in time, the number of cells of course increases because the growth rate is increasing, but it increases linearly and that is why it is known as arithmetic growth rate. Now, these kind of growth rate is seen in the elongation of root. So if you see the root, again at the root tip, you have the meristematic zone. After that, you will have the elongation zone and then you have the maturation zone, right? So the elongation of the zone happens by this type of growth rate, that is arithmetic growth rate. Now let us try to look at arithmetic growth rate graphically. Now based on whatever we have discussed so far, let us suppose this is at initial time, that is at t is equal to 0. How many cells you had? You had 2 cells. Now as the time increases, now what are these 1, 2, 3? I mean I'm just not taking any unit right now. I just want to show you how the graph would look like for this kind of a growth rate. Let us suppose this is second. Just, this is just an example. It does not mean that in one second only one cell will increase in a plant. That is not the case. I am just taking you an example. Right? So the time is increasing here and the number of cells which are formed is increasing here. Right? So now if you plot a graph taking time on the x-axis and the number of cells on the y-axis. So this number of cells will actually determine growth in this case. Right? So let us suppose this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right? So now it will become easy for us to plot it. So when time is equal to 0, number of cells is 2. So when time was 0, number of cells is 2. So this is my first point. Next, when time is 1, number of cells is 3. So when time is 1, number of cells is 3. This is my second point. Time 2, number of cells 4. So time 2, number of cells 4. Time 3, number of cells 5. Time 4, number of cells 6. So these are the points which you have plotted based on the data which you have, right? So now if you join all these points together, what you get? 
you get a linear curve right so arithmetic growth is always represented by a linear curve so the growth happens or the growth increases linearly so that is known as arithmetic growth rate so this is that is growth per unit time so this is how an arithmetic growth curve looks like now let us look at arithmetic growth rate mathematically so if you look at it mathematically how would it be so this is a linear curve or a linear equation you can say so mathematically it is denoted by lt is equal to l0 plus rt where t what is lt l represents the length at time t so at time t l0 represent the length at initial time that is as t is equal to 0 right so here in this graph this represents time and this represents l so whatever we i have considered as number of cells that number of cells was just a parameter so that is written as l so l represents the length so as i said growth can be determined by a number of parameters one of them is length one of them is the number of cells so here l has been taken as a standard convention so this represents L0, this value, that is the value of length at time t is equal to 0. So this particular value denotes L0 plus R into t. What is R? R is the growth rate, which would be nothing but the slope of this line. So R denotes the growth rate and t denotes the time. Correct? So this is how we can denote it mathematically. That is Lt is equal to L0 plus Rt. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.